Gill says, I don't like playing the small forward position. I'm a two guard. But he's back at it tonight. Leighton with a left hand drive and a crush. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, look, if you get a shot at the bench, everybody up because no one expected that. That's the first time he has really shown some explosiveness jumping off that ankle that he had to rehab most of last season. That's his best drive all season. Gill off a of McElvain screen. Long rebound to Lindsay. This is looking to tie maybe go ahead. Christian again runs into McElvain with a phenomenal shot, but he picks up a charging foul. Well, let's go Lightning back to the dunk. Hurt. Again, beats him off the Don't dribble, as I said he should be able to do if he gets it on the perimeter, but then goes to the hole with authority. I mean, with a purpose. Now, in this particular play, give McElvain credit. He got position, stood in there, and drew the charge, although late in the circle shot did drop. Lucius Harris for a tray. Rebound. It's Stackhouse. Leitner, hard dribble drive with the lefty. Got it! And a foul. I'll tell you what, Christian has a look in his eye tonight. We have not seen him take the ball as aggressively to the rim as he has in this first quarter. Well, again, McElvain will not block his shot. This is a moment ago. Now, it looks like this is almost coming down, and I think it was. But when he has to go out on the perimeter, McElvain is not going to block his shot very often. He is not a great on-the-ball defender in terms of blocking shots. He'll come over and sneak you as a help side defender because you don't see him coming. But he can do a lot of damage coming off the bench. Van Horn on a lefty drive. Fall away. Softly goes home. He's got nine. I told you he's got the package. He's able to hit the runner. You haven't seen his three-point accuracy yet. But he is a very good offensive basketball player. Stackhouse to Leighton. Christian was seven cashed in so far on leaving him in the game with the two fouls. He's been smart enough to avoid further foul trouble, but they'll look to get him out now. Look at Van Horn attack again. Goes hard to the hole and scores. He's got a 13-point opening quarter. And right now, the Pistons have no defensive answer for him. Toss inside to Leitner. Always making him pay at the other end with nine. Leitner giving some room, a lot of it, by McElvain, so he takes it. Rebound, Grand Hills hustle. Looks inside the Lakers, spinning and scoring. Sometimes bobbling the ball helps because that bobble got him free. But sometimes that's when the Nets have gotten in trouble standing around watching Marbury take all the shots. Stripped by Leitner. Here comes Grant Hill with it. Fights it off to Lindsay on his right stack house. Trailing Leitner with a tap. 13 for Christian, the most active I think he has been as a piston tonight. Don't you agree? Oh, yeah. And I think that dunk early got him keyed, got him jacked, and now he's really into it. And the teammates are certainly responding to number 32 with what he has given them tonight. This is a 10-4 piston surge. Lindsey Hunter, not a bad decision. He gets it all the way there, but then just misses on the finger roll. But there's Christian Leighton out hustling three nets to the basket. That was pretty from the above the rim cam. Piston lead is a deuce. Grant had to give it up. Good ball movement to push through. Judge Short one more time. Leitner. Williams kept it alive. I was about to say, say thanks to Jerome Williams on the way back down the floor. Toss in deep to Leitner. Puts it up quickly somehow and scores it. Stuck it in. Through the side door. Christian with 18. Scott Burrell on the floor to defend Grant Hill. Screen from Leitner. Was careful not to move. Christian now goes inside, puts it up, and down, and a foul. So good play by Detroit, keeping the floor spread, allowing a little two-man action out front between Grant Hill, who was not doubled until he penetrated the defense. And that little look away by Christian Leighton, he gets inside, he's strong with the basketball. That's what allows him to go inside, get the contact, and get it softly off the window. If he goes in tentatively, they strip him. And he set the tone for that in the very first quarter when he had nine points. His first bucket was a big throwdown on the drive. Jermaine now Jermaine Jackson comes off the bench for some defense. Newman to trigger. And Newman's dangerous because he's inbounding the ball. You don't want to lose him when he steps inbounds. Marbury, you know he's the man. 
all the way to the rack against Leitner. Uh-uh, rebound tapped by Fight. No. Saved by Perry. No. Chris Clinton, the title winner, 109-107. Man, was it a struggle, but they sealed the deal. Nobody cares that it came against the one and six ball club coming in, and the Nets played above that. They shot above that. And after last night's bitter pill, this one tastes mighty fine. Pistons do a nice job of not fouling Marbury. Once he goes beyond the three-point line, penetrates, make him make a shot. Fight got a legitimate tap. Perry. His shot was defensed that time by Stackhouse and the Pistons bench joyous. They get their third win.